بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about how to differentiate small and large bowel in a brain film. Here we see brain film of the abdomen, another brain film of the abdomen. How we differentiate a small bowel from the large bowel. Look first location the large bowel it is located in the peripheral aspect of the brain film. Film, brain abdomen, and it is looks like a frame. The small bowel it is located centrally in the abdomen X-ray. What is the name of the mucosal folds in the small bowel? It is valvular convin convinit, and it is continuous from one side of the wall to the another side of the wall. In the large bowel, the mucosal fold, it is called hostra, and it is not from one side to the another side of the wall. It is incomplete. Folds are circular in the small bowel. Folds are semicircular in the large bowel. The meter of the small bowel is about 2.5 to 3 centimeter maximally and in the large bowel it is uh, less than five centimeter in the transverse colon sigmoid colon and cecum it is less than nine millimeter nine centimeter fluid level two to three fluid levels are normal in the small bowel <coughs> and here in the large bowel, there is no fluid level, but there is solid feces, sometimes mixed with gases. It is normal. Causes of obstruction in the small bowel, it is adhesion, hernia, tumor, gallstone, and in the large bowel, it is tumor, abscess, diverticular disease, and valvulae. And here the obstruction it is about in the small bowel about 80 percent, and the obstruction here is about 20 percent. Thank you very much for listening. Hoping this will help you, and see you soon.